in my drone this morning, but I think it's a little bit windy, Wendy. And these like small FPV drones don't do well in the wind. That is no bueno. Are we on? Yes. Bro, I was really looking forward to flying this morning, but I do have, I've got a lot of things that I saw this AI tool on TikTok this morning that is a script writer essentially, so I'm gonna try that out. But first, we're gonna take advantage of getting some clips made for these like fan accounts, which I found out Kenny was telling me yesterday that there are agencies that allow you to do this, that just do it for you. So they'll just take one video, cut up everything, edit it, all that kind of stuff, and just like manage different social media accounts. So. I think somewhere down the road, I would do that for this type of, these clips. But for right now, I'm kind of just testing to see if it works for me. So my plan is to get like a load of subway surfers clips and like, uh, what are those like car driving where it, I don't know, I don't know what they're called. But essentially they're just clips that would sit underneath you, you're like a talking video uh, to keep people interested. Since, since I'm so boring. So from like my first few videos, I've already cut out all the clips that I would like to use. I'm gonna pull those into cap. I'm talking instead of doing it right now because this dog, dude, I keep sticking her head on my lap, begging for more and more scratches. Is that good? Oh, you want more? Okay. Oh yeah, those are good scratches. Let me see them teethies. Beautiful teethies, dude. Beautiful teethies. Let me see again. Oh, oh yeah, you've been to the dentist recently, haven't you? I'd really like, I'd really like to get to a place where I can just take her on like a couple of day trip, just going, just walking her around national parks. I think she'd love that. Or just like a day of pampering her. You know, like a doggy spa, uh, long W-A-L-K-S and a bunch of other things. But for right now, uh, I don't know, I just like, I have so much that I want to get done, like that needs to get off the ground and start running because I'm, like I'm not at a place where I'm like comfortably knowing what my income is each month. Like I, I could make that amount of money, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I could, you know, sit back for a week or two, and just not do any work, you know? I do, da. Oh, good scratchies, good girl. Okay, all right, dude, we have to stop, bro. And then we're gonna go to YouTube. And we're just gonna type in Subway Surfers. I want just like a flipping long video. Uh, just Subway Surfers gameplay. 10 hours, bloody hell. So I get like, I just download this. The new Subway MVP reward earns you points when you order. Oh, Patty Mahomies. Where's your sister? Gucci guilty, I'm a sad death off all. Was that, what's her name from um, Ozark? Ozark girl, what's her name? Julia Garner with ASAP Rocky in that video. It was, wasn't it? I guess this video will do. Not that I'm gonna illegally download this. Like okay, this. It's about, it's about one gigabyte in files. All right, Subway Surfers, what other games do people play that like, uh, car racing game play? What's the name of the game? It looks like a GTA game, but they have like a downward ramp and the cars just, they just go <laughs> down this ramp and the ramp has like bumps could fall off, I don't know. 
for ramp gameplay. Oh, it is GTA 5. GTA 5 car gameplay. It's okay, you don't need to press it twice. Mate, that's a long ass intro. I'll have you, I'll have you. I'll have you, thank you, Aki Gaming. I should have gotten more Subway Surfers stuff, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So let's download. Damn lad. Download! Yeah, so quite, quite honestly, like I'm sure this will work. It seems to work for a lot of other people who've done this. We'll find out, won't we? But I've got to keep this organized. So, uh, let's do gameplay. And we'll have subway surfers. We'll have GTA 5 car. That'll do. That's a great name. That is, that's up there. This one's subway surfers. I think... I think what I'm going to do is just, how should I do this? I want, like if I'm going to be doing this every single day, I want to streamline it. So I'm going to be editing the main video in Final Cut Pro, but then I need it to be in vertical format. Oh, I guess I'll walk you through. The first thing I'm thinking is that I just transform all the horizontal clips into just a vertical clip. But then... Where do, what do I do with the gameplay? Do I put it top, bottom? What if it interferes with something else in the clip? Get the position correct. Start it off here. That means I'm losing part of it. That'll do donkey. And if I do everything as that, those clips probably aren't going to be ideal for that, but Master Trehan. See, this is what I don't want to be doing. What, mate? Let's do a darling. You go there, you go there. You go there, you go there. Get out of town. So I've currently set this out. Like I've, I've divided up each of the clips by a spacer here. But the problem is I can't just export all of this and I have to go and cut. So I really have to go like here and then delete that bit. Don't really want to be doing that. I guess what I really want to be doing is having multiple, like if I actually do, oh, I'll grab this, put that underneath. Now I just have this dude driving the whole time. What other games are there? Yeah, what type of gameplay is good? You should start using like old, like iconic Fortnite clips. All right, let's go see the baby. We'll be back onto this in a, in a minute. He's not a baby anymore, is he? All right. Got my call with my manager, one minute. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes, cause it's funny. One of my massive complaints about her is that she constantly just doesn't turn up to meetings or just would shift it last minute. One minute before the meeting meant to be yesterday, moved it, or didn't move it, just messaged and said she wouldn't be there, had to get a few other things together. Said she would move it to later that afternoon. Not a peep. Then of course changes it this morning. Good video on because that's really nice. <clears throat> hey Oliver. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Well, that wasn't I thought it was gonna go not somewhat not differently. But, smoothly enough. So that's it. I am officially on gardening leave. That's what they call it, gardening leave, I think. I don't have to work for the next, yeah, two weeks. That's quite nice. Okie dokie artichokey, so yeah, I'll just, I'll check all my files are uploaded and then 
just, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, take the laptop in or just like throw it at a wall. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> right, Kenny and I spoke for like an hour and a half. It was good yesterday, except when I come to edit, I've realized that the actual recording has no bloody audio of what Kenny's saying, so it's just a one-sided conversation. <laughs> That's good. That's great. So let me just um, kill all of that. Maybe I'll just make clips out of it because it's just not a conversation. So on to the next bit. <laughs> Dude, today, one of those days that j let me get my gammy feet out the shot for you was one of those days where everything just goes the wrong way, no matter what you try. So, well, <laughs> this morning we're at a go gym and as I'm working out, I'm like mid-workout, I'm not really feeling it, but I'm kind of doing it. Um, I have this thought, I was like, oh, if I'm gonna make these clips to go on social media, I need to, have like subway surfer videos and the car driving videos, like GTA 5 videos to link in. I'm like, oh yeah, sweet. I could go and get a plethora of those, a load of those. So I leave the gym. Uh, my plan was to fly my drone. I had it all packed up, ready to go. And it was just windy as hell. Like, all right, cool. Well, we'll go home, get to see Rugi, get to see the missus. So get home chill it's nice we hang out have breakfast that's all that's all lovely and then what exactly happened then oh that's right i came down to start working and my hard drives are all filled up and then it doesn't copy over properly and then i'm having to format different drives transfer it to other drives which then doesn't work and something's going wrong. So I'm having to copy just the files that I need for today. Well, of course, number one stops me getting from working. Number two <laughs> sends me down the, the street, sends me down the path of um, looking for other storage solutions because I'm making, I'm recording like, I don't know, 100 gig of video a day doing this plus the TikTok stuff. Then, manager, manager and I are talking about one of the deals that we have and making a decision on that. And actually, this is a pretty pivotal, pivotal moment. Let me, like, let me, I use that word too. It's a big word, isn't it? It's a not, not big, but it's a nice word. So, um, where is it? Okay, okay. So we have two companies that are messaging that have emailed me right now to, to do some kind of partnership. And they're both offering pretty much the exact same product. Now I did a paid partnership with one of the brands like maybe a month or so ago. And one of the brands is offering extremely low but that's like a bird in the hand, right? Then the other brand, we were at this point, we were trying to work out like what are they going to be able to, what's their rate? What are they able to budget for? And it, it's kind of a, like a teaching point for, you know, the partnership between my manager and I, in that we're like, this person who's lowballed, but, you know, it's a bird in the hand, needs a response. And I'm like, I don't think we should go with that, and especially until we've heard back from this other brand. So I sent this message to my manager, kind of as kind of just an explanation as kind of who I am as a character. So I guess I'm like, well, I've stretched this leg for a long time, haven't I? I'm part reading this out to see what you think, and part reading it out because I also kind of want you to know where I'm coming from. So. This is me to my manager. 
It may not seem like it from your perspective, but from mine, this is a pivotal decision and perhaps this example will give you a better idea of who I am. With brand likely to offer a higher rate and considering I've done a brand product before, this is one of those situations that determines who I am and what type of creator I want to be. I won't advertise competing pro yeah, I won't advertise competing products one after another unless there's a reason for it, like a direct comparison or one brand you know, is challenging for outdoor stuff and the other one's challenging for indoor stuff, right? Where it kind of makes sense. It all comes down to how I would feel if my favorite creator gave me a want to spend money on something only for them then to advertise an alternative a few weeks later, leaving me to feel like I've been cheated. I don't and shouldn't feel any loyalty to these brands. However, I am loyal to my values and how I want my viewers to feel about me and my content. Um, yeah, he was fine with that, but to me, like my main passion in doing this is, uh, is making the videos, right? I love that. The idea that I can make money off of doing that, like I'm 32. So us growing up the path the, like the internet wasn't really a thing when we were young, when we were like, I don't know, 15, we had dial up internet where it's like beep and you couldn't use the phone at the same time. <laughs> so internet money, Wi-Fi money wasn't really a thing then. And now being in a position where I can make a video about what I want and then share it with people who enjoy it and get paid for that, mental. I don't, I'm not quite sure where I was going with that bit. Anyway, dealing with all of that, not just my manager, but like the other discussions around there took forever as well. And we had the dude who, the guys who did work on our house, they came around to like talk through everything and then dropped like five and a half thousand dollars on that. So that's not chump change by any stretch. I was like, okay. But there's potential there. He asked what I did. I said, I make TikToks and I mentioned like wood rot, people who do wood rot videos on TikTok where they just go around and just poke. I was like, you know, you should be doing something like this for your business, like get leads from your area. And he's like, oh, oh yeah. So that might be something to help out with there and a little bit of extra income. So eventually get the hard drives all sorted. I can start editing. That goes fine, I think. Then the anchor video that we've been working on the last few days, the chewing gum video, the brand finally approved that and I go to post it and they've got some kind of like weird TikTok campaign going that they want to add the video to. I don't understand. I do understand, but this is the first time we've heard of it. And the agency I've been working with is Chinese. So at this point they're all asleep. My posting time typically is around two o'clock. So I'm talking again with my manager, like, what do we do here? Do we, like, I've been waiting all week to post this video since I've completed it. And eventually just came to the conclusion that I'll just post it. But it's annoying because I post at my right time and now it's under review with the brand, even though the brand have already reviewed it. So it's just sitting on my profile, not doing anything. And I hope they don't like approve it at 2 a.m. It's going to be a massive waste of time because that's when the fewest number of my followers are online. And honestly, that only makes a difference because it, uh, TikTok added the feature of like if you're on TikTok and someone you follow uploads a video, it'll show a banner at the top saying so and so posted a video. So. To me, the posting time only really matters as to when the most of your followers are online to be able to see that so-and-so posted a video. Oh, I've been stretching this one for bloody ever, haven't I? Um, the other ones aren't particularly nice to watch as I'm talking, so. Anyway, it's four o'clock now. I also just found out that the video that I, like YouTube video that I posted today, the audio for the podcast type conversation that Kenny and I had, that was no bueno. So 
that was like an hour and a half conversation. It was really good as well. Now we just, that's done. But I'll see if I can chop it up into clips, maybe. Yeah. Um, so one of those days where you're just fried from every angle, I think you just stay positive, try and get through it, and try and organize yourself. I didn't do a very good job of organizing myself in this one. So um, what I should do is organize myself, but we won't, we won't say that because then it looks like I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. And I, I'm, yeah, I'm. But we did get the iPhone returned yesterday. That's good news, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's have a good day tomorrow, right? It's a lot colder. Hopefully it's not windy and we can, we can rip the drone in the morning. Let me just check. Sorry. Ah, oh, this is, this is good. Yeah. It's, um, rain tomorrow and windy as balls. So this is looking good. Got the needle mat to film too. All right. See you morrow. <laughs> that was so stupid. I actually filmed a bit uh, for stopping the video, um, but I realized I've got to do the thumbnail and send off the second anchor video. So I thought I'm gonna get, since the video that I'm uploading is the planning of the needle mat video. Um, I didn't really get a shot of it in that video, so I'm gonna take the next day of filming, which is where I actually shot the video, and get that into here, like a screenshot of that. I actually, like weirdly, think that's kind of a cool video. Maybe I have to be in it. Like that one? I probably have to, should start like getting a thumbnail in the video, shouldn't I? Uh, I don't think that says anything about what's happening. Exposure, it's going to lift it up. Let's make the blue. So color wheels. I know like designers are staring at me, right? Well, they're not because they're not watching, but they're staring at me saying, oh no, you shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff in Final Cut. That's what Photoshop's for. And I'll be like, you're right. And I just can't be bothered to take it over to Photoshop, really. You know, a much better thumbnail would just be that in a plain white room. I also realized that I should be, like I need to tidy this room up before I go to bed so that when I wake up tomorrow morning, oh, bollocks. When I wake up tomorrow morning, I can just, you know, get straight into work. We don't have any of this issue. This issue. Oh, this is really annoying. So there's another memory issue. I don't know, like, look at how much of my, I, what is all of this? Other volumes, hello dude. What is, I used up 10 gig. What the hell is other volumes? I don't know. Why didn't that open? So now you, I probably just didn't read it properly, did I? <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I'll save that for next time. I was just about to say, we were talking about that a while back, weren't we? Like a day or two ago? How old, you should always, like, with A. <laughs> With AI, the update should come when it sees that you're done with a piece of work. So like when you're finished and says update, yeah, you know what? I will update now because I don't need to do anything. All right, clone stamp. Hello, doodah, what's going on? Oh, option, I'll select this area. Crikey Moses. Um, Dude, you're a lovely girl, but you are. Yes, we'll rasterize the object and get rid of him. 
Look at that. Good as new. Oh, God. What was over the edge? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Make any other changes? Um, oh, whoops. Are you licking my thigh again? Bit of a weirdo. The asylum. You know what? We are going to do something absolutely freaking crazy here. I don't need to do it that way, do I? I could just do it here. The brush is not what I wanted to do. Oh my good gosh. Golly gosh, darling. Oh, you can't do it to the text. And that is why. We we all love Photoshop. Quick selection tool. This area here will do. Adjustments. Dude, I'm not in love with the sound you're making over there, by the way. Yeah, the asylum that'll do. Export, save for web. Save. Um, extreme to send this to there, there, thumb one. Save this off in exactly the same place. There, there, there. All right, that took longer in, than expected, so I'm going to upload this and then. Chill out with Rugies and Shay again. Then I'll be back. I bid you a farewell. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Alright, got the thumbnail uploaded and the video posted, I think. And so now I'm just going over the anchor video again. See how things look. Which I think I need to copy it over first. That's so annoying. So annoying, gosh, life just so difficult. Um, I brought this back from England the other week, from home. It's a caramel Kit Kat Chunky. I mean, for starters, right? These used to be fatter than hell. That's, I mean, yeah, that's like chunky this way, but where's the rest of it? it used to be way bigger. Oh, left it out last night, so it's a bit stale. <laughs> But, oh, I've, I picked out a Kit Kat normal one when I thought they were caramel ones. And this whole time I've been trying to figure out where the caramel is in it. And I haven't even been eating a caramel one. All right. Do you wanna do you wanna see? I guess I guess you can watch me surfing the web. Um, so I'm thinking I need like a in terms of storage. I use these SSDs, like these things here, which I love. A lot of people have said they've had issues with them recently, but I think they've been great, especially with the pouch that I made. That's um. That used to be a short story, and then it became a very long story, which I'll keep for another time. But the storage here, I want like a, a lot of these in one system. Well, kind of just a, a, a very fast, big external hard drive is what I want. So I can shuff, shuffle everything off onto there. Because since I've been doing this, I think we're on like day, this is day 11. And we are filled up two terabytes in that amount of time, so it's going to be expensive because uh, I'm going to keep all the footage. Obviously, probably didn't need to say that, but I don't know what to search. Um, external storage. 
Like I don't I don't know if I need one that plugs into the internet. God, it sounds sound like a boomer saying that, don't I? Nothing wrong with boomers actually, I'm just saying that for the sake of it being a thing on social media. Like do I search big? I don't know. I guess I could just try like the normal. Right, like just see what Western Digital have on their website. Just shopping everything, isn't it? E commerce. Performance in two days only. Shop the flash sale. Oh god, I need to get some. NAS is what I don't think I need, but I'm gonna have a look at it anyway. See what tickles my fancy. Oh, shut up. Network attack sh storage. Yeah, that one connects to the, the old internet. So zero to 28 terabytes. Oh, look, it goes from zero terabytes to 72 terabytes. And it starts at 549, so for zero terabytes, you're paying 550. That is a deal. Hell of a deal. This is kind of funny pricing, isn't it? Oh, my cloud pro series or expert series. I, I don't know if I'm, surely I'm not crazy here, but 28 terabytes at 429 or 56 double it at 380 that would suggest then that pro is more advanced than expert right let's just have a gander shall we zero terabytes 400 dollars 56 uh, mm. That's quite, that's a little bit pricey, isn't it? That's quite pricey. I mean, honestly, I'm not saying it's not value. I think there's huge value in that, and I would not be surprised if I go to something like that in the near future. And like, as I think through this, um, like, I'm trying to be smart about investing in things that I know I'll need for the future. Like this, I'll need something like that probably later this year. Well, it's October, so not this year. Potentially next. Um, so I'll need it, but like, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm not sure at all. I'm guessing I can get it for half that. Much, like maybe 500 is what I'm looking for. What is this baddie? 36 terabytes. Your, uh, oh, that's, wow, what a winky. Bruv, where's your like, just stacked hard drives, is it this one? Easy store. Well, why is that one starting at 200? Oh, I don't know. Only available at Best Buy. Like, you connect all of these to one hub, so you have like four or five of these. All connect to one hub, and so like when I'm done for the day, everything I no longer need, I can just send off there. Honestly, that's very cheap. Oh, that's 14 gig, 22 gig, 400. 
you know I mean that's eleven times what I'm using now, so I'd get eleven times as many. Let's start with one of those. What about SanDisk? That is a Western digital brand, isn't it? I I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. But it's a subsidiary. So maybe they have their solutions. Yeah, mate, I'll shop all of them, thank you. I never normally work yeah, I rarely work in the evening. It's like four o'clock rolls around. If I can be done sooner, yes. But as that rolls around, it's like done with work. Hang out with the misses and Rugi. And then I popped down here earlier when he was in the bath quickly to get that. Uh, ideally to have gotten all of this done. But here we are. All right, mate, well, we're done with you. And now, here. I guess we'll continue that tomorrow. I had the missus trying to see if she could taste the caramel too, couldn't. I did edit this, didn't I? Yeah. File, reeling files. And why all of that is a. Did I look at that earlier? I'm going to be so mad if something's missing. <clears throat> kind of forgot I was recording, sorry. <laughs> I have this one bit that I, I feel like I should change. Something's telling me that it's going to be going to be a drop off. I'll tell you why. Hang on, one sec. say sorry as if I'm not going to just cut that out or have cut that out. I guess now it makes more sense to keep it in. No, it doesn't. <laughs> because if you fall off there, you won't get to this pit, would you? But then if you made it to this pit, then... It's these type of things, like I just wasted, what, 10 minutes? Managing it, getting files relinked. I think this is one of the things that I frustrates me about the work. That's why I should invest in a new system, isn't it? I don't. Me might not find it interesting. I find it so interesting how, um, like I was pretty happy with this video yesterday. And I've made a couple of changes here that I'd, I'd say are pretty significant. And just having those that time in between, able to think more clearly. 
or just see things from another view, another perspective. Before I close this, actually, I wanted to share that um, I've made a strategic decision on where a certain caption is placed within the video. And I think at the place where they may want it and the only place that it makes sense to have it when I'm showing the product or just after, I think it comes at the end of a, quite a long blurb where I talk about the product. Like I, I say the name of it and what it's meant to be able to do. And I feel like a caption just there would push it too much like an ad and be like, well, I'm not going to get the needle mat stuff. I'm just going to get a lot of stuff about the product. So my point was, I am then trying to call that out in my email with the link to the video. To, bloody hell, it is bright, isn't it? To help them understand that there's a reason behind the placement of that versus, oh, I just put it somewhere, which they might think people do, I don't know. I would like to make the note that I have strategically placed the timing of the caption, blah, blah, to reduce the likely drop off when I announce the name of the product, to reduce the likely drop off. I would like to make a note that I have strategically placed the timing of the caption, Anchor Fast Challenge, to retain viewers and maintain focus on the product when in shot. Cool. Regards. Send. All right, that's done. Give the room a quick tidy. Aren't you excited? Dude, I see you've joined us. This is very nice. What a surprise. Um, what's going on here? You know what? I won't make you. I won't make you watch me clear up. I don't really have anything more to say this evening. Not that any of it's been good. It's been, anyway. So, all right. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow. <laughs>